Lucy. I'm Rachel. And I'm Isabel. And we are here to show you how to assemble the simple box. This is a bill of material and you should have all of these parts. Each Animark drive kit has two simple boxes in it. Now let's start assembling. And remember, be safe! <laughs> First, take the small bearing and place it in the middle hole of the housing unit. Then, take a block of wood or something similar to a block of wood and gently tap the bearing into the housing unit. Be sure that the bearing is properly seated. Okay, next step is to put the shaft in the bearing. Next, you put the big gear on the shaft. For this next step, you will need two books, preferably dorky and engineering books. Rachel, look, I found the dorky engineering books. Thank you, Lucy, these are perfect. Then you will take your shaft plate and you will place it on the book so that there is still some space underneath. Then take the big bearing and place it in the big hole on the shaft plate. You want to place the bearing so that the bearing flanges are on the same side as the shaft plate flanges. You don't want to place it like this because that would be bad. Then you take a block of wood or something similar <laughs> and you would gently tap the bearing into the shaft plate. Intriguing. Now you take the shaft plate and you put it on the housing. Notice that the bearing flange is facing down. Also that this is facing down. It should be a tight squeeze. Notice four nubbies that are located on the housing. These are what keeps the shaft plate aligned. Next, take one of the nuts with the nylon and and place them in the hole so that the nylon is on the outside. While holding the nut to the housing, you will you will screw in a screw to each nut. And you will do that four times, one for each screw. Then take the Allen wrench and hold the nut with your finger. Then take the screw and screw it in. And then you do it four more times for each screw. Now we're going to lubricate the gear. Take the caramel-like packet of grease and open it. There should be an indentation that it will be easy to open. Be sure not to eat this. Even though it looks like caramel, it's not. Don't do it. <coughs> Now you're going to put some <laughs> thick case onto your finger. <laughs> uh, you're going to put some of the grease on your finger and then you will put your finger into the holes and it, then you will gently turn the gear slowly so you can put enough of the grease evenly onto the gear to lubricate it. You may need to do this a few times. Glad to see you're feeling better, Isabel. 
Yeah, ecstatic. So now you put the the little key, the little key machine key. Mach see. The little machine key in the sim motor keyway. Now put the small gear onto the motor shaft on the small key. Now we're going to put the retaining clip onto the sim motor shaft. This is one of the harder steps, so you're going to need to use some force to put this on here. You're going to want to put the sim motor onto a, something similar to a block of wood, positioned so that the wires are not being punched. Then take the retaining clip and place it onto the sim motor shaft, like so. Then you're going to take a socket of some sort and press it down. Like that. If your retaining clip didn't go all the way down the first time, you can also use a spacer to get it down completely. Place the spacer onto the retaining clip and the sim motor shaft and then gently tap it down so that the retaining clip is all the way down. Ta-da! This is a sim motor. Now you take the sim motor and notice that there's two threaded holes. So you put the sim motor into the into the gearbox. Now make sure that the two threaded holes are lined up with these holes. Soon we're going to need to drive the screws into the sim motor and then the gear to align them. But first we're going to need to make sure that the screw will stay onto the Allen wrench when we're driving it in. To do that, we're going to need to take a piece of paper or a thin piece of plastic and place the screw onto the Allen wrench. Like so. As long as you don't flick it around, flick it around this will keep the screw onto the Allen wrench so that you can drive it in. Have a friend, or a sister, or s brother, or relative, if you have any, hold it for you so that you can drive it in. Lucy, right, right, where is it? There we go. You will also need to do it on the other hole. There's more hardware in the kit, enough to put on a second motor. There is also extra hardware uh, with which you can attach things to the output shaft. That's how you assemble a, a simple box. Good, Good luck! luck.